Hello, 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 you old people. <laughs> Is this a number, right? Oh, shit. That's what I tell myself all the time. It's just a number. I'm 60 years old, man. You want to know something? <laughs> think about it. I want you all to just think about this for just a brief second. Remember when you were like 10, 15, whatever, and you used to be looking at you, you have a family gathering at the house, Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthdays, or whatever, and you're looking around, you're like, man, they're old. <laughs> well, guess what? Now, when you go to a family gathering, and you got a bunch of little kids sitting around, they're looking like, man, he's old. <laughs> Do I care now? Hey, I'm proud. I am so proud to be 60 years old, man. I want, I want, I, I never thought I'd make it. I really never thought I'd make it. What is there to talk about today? <laughs> I was reading an article. Was it last night? I do a lot of, I got my, my tablet over there. It's being charged. That thing, man, it's like eight years old. Takes forever to charge. But the battery don't last very long. Lasts maybe an hour, an hour and a half at that. And I got it on airplane mode because... I have no cell for that. I have no cell phone service, man. I keep on peeking. I gotta move it back a little bit. There we go. And uh, it was about inflation. And the way the guy wrote it, he was, you know, he had a sense of humor. <laughs> he says, "Inflation. It's a fancy word for saying that your money ain't worth anything." Isn't that the fact? Here in the Philippines, man, I'm, it's, it's, inflation is hitting here, okay? Is it cheaper than the States? Yeah, it's still cheaper than the States. And bless myself and bless my wife, Miles, man. Miles knows how to shop. You know what I mean? As far as grocery shopping. Now, if you know anything about a Philippine woman, most mostly the woman, females, not a woman, they are the experts on negotiating. Excuse me. I got indigestion bad. Ooh. Yeah, I ate some, uh, I had some spaghetti, leftover spaghetti with some chicken. I could, woke up this morning with it. First I was like, oh man, am I having a freaking heart attack? Nah, it's just indigestion. And, uh, yeah, Miles, she is like, She's awesome when it comes to negotiating. We don't have to do it that much at the market anymore because she goes to the same vendors all the time, so they give her good prices and stuff. And if they know, they know. If they don't, she's just going to negotiate or she'll walk away and go somewhere else. Yes, the Philippine woman is king at negotiating. The king. But yeah, I was reading this article and the guy kind of had it. I wish I could remember his name, man. My, my, my tablet, the battery's dead, so I can't bring it up and say, see, this is what I'm talking about. He had, like I said, he had a kind of really good sense of humor, so he kind of put a spun on everything. In other words, he stab you and they say, oh, you okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, he says, inflation. It's just a fancy words telling you that your money ain't worth shit. And that seems to be a problem throughout the world, man. See, and I know that, you know, people in the U.S., not all, but some believe that it's only happening here, no, in there, in the United States. It's happening all over the world. England is screwed, you know? It's not very good, man. It's not good. It's not good. And now they're talking about they're hoping they're keeping the fingers crossed that Trump signs an executive order to go back to the gold standard. Who did that? Who did away? Wasn't it Nixon? I believe it was Nixon. 
that did away with the gold standard. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? Because I think, me personally, I think they just, they just print money. You know what I mean? They just print and print and print and print. Come to find out, if you watch, which here you can, you watch the news coming out of China, that's all they do. Do you know why they lend so much money out? Because all they do is print and print and print and print and print. There's nothing to back it. And, and I don't care what anybody. It, they, China tells you, oh yeah, we go, they just print and print and print, so, and it devalues the money. Just like the United States has devalued the money, you know? How much is a dollar worth now? I don't know. I really don't know. It's crazy. We are in some crazy times. Mucky, he just doesn't. What do you think, Muck? You think we're going through some crazy times? I don't know, man. <sighs> See, there's a lot of things right now on on the, your, everybody's plate as far as the U.S. with the election coming up. Whether who you want to vote for, it's up to you. You know, I, 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 I don't tell people who to vote. Oh, I don't say who I'm going to vote for, okay? I'm not going to tell you this, but... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, and I've been looking it up and looking for research lately. This is, I believe this is the first time in history that... the Democrats didn't vote on who was going to run as the representative, as a president for the Democratic side. They were just saying, here, this is what you got. I don't know. I haven't seen anything yet. You know, it might have happened. I don't know. But I think it's, it's just weird times, man. It's just so, things are happening. It was like, would that, be, would that happen 20, 30, 40 years ago? I mean, I was born in June of 64, okay? So, I'm a boomer. I was right at the tail end. And even people went before me, or can't, you know, was born before me, the boomers, they've been through a lot of shit, man. Vietnam. You know, if you were born in 1945, okay? And then 1965, you were 20 years old. The, the draft was in, let me find that, hold on a second. Let me find something out. Wow, man, okay. The Vietnam War was a conflict the Viet Vietnamese, Laos, and Cambodia, 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 from the 1st of November, 1955, to the fall of Saigon in 30th April, 1975. I didn't know it started that early. I thought it, but when was the, the draft reenacted? The draft was enacted in 1964 to 1973. Wow, I didn't, I didn't. See, we've been through a lot, man. The boomers? The boomers went through a lot. So if you were born in 1944 and 1964, We went through a lot. Man, that's a lot on our plates. I mean, we've seen a lot of things, man. We've seen what? We've seen the assassination of JFK. We've seen the assassination of, okay, Robert Kennedy, Bob Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Now, some of you, I mean, some people really didn't like Malcolm X, but if you ever really actually listen to him towards the end of his, you know, 
his life. I honestly believe he made an appearance on CBS News one time, and he started talking about the uh, Democrat Party. Say, you know, that he was kind of opposed to them. And then next thing you know, he was assassinated. You got Dr. King. I mean, then we were the, we were there for the uh, first walk on the moon. That's just a few things that stick out my head. That stick out my head. Baby Boomer's been through a lot. Been through a lot. And, but we're silent, you know what I mean? We're the, they call us the silent generation. Then you got Gen Xers. They're, they're kind of like, they, they don't give a shit generation, you know? They just, but see, I don't know if I would look at myself as Boomer slash Xer, you know what I mean? Because I grew up in the 70s. I mean, I was too young for the 60s. I grew up in the 70s, you know, rode my bike without a helmet, rode in the back of a pickup truck, you know, played in the dirt, didn't know what internet was because we didn't have it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm a boomer slash X. But we the boomers have been through a lot. A lot of crap. But we're si they're silent. I'm not going to put me in that nest. Even though people say, yeah, you're a boomer. But like I said, I was right at the tail end. Of June of 64. Does it really matter at the end of the day? No, not really. But... I had, a, I had a discussion with somebody about that. And they're like, he was like, I don't know why he, he was a boomer, but I don't know. He, I'm trying to see how I can word what he was. He was so concerned, what was I, a baby boomer or a Gen Xer? And I said, well, I really don't know where I fall. And he says, what do you mean by that? And I said, I was born in June of 64 right around near the end of the boomer or, you know, generation. He said, oh, you're a boomer or needs. I don't know. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, does it? All I know is, like I said, the boomer generation is the silent generation. They did what they had to do to get through the day and then they went home, you know? I think everybody, and I know this is a uh, a blanket statement, but I know everybody's getting tired of the Gen Zs. They're getting tired of them. They call them the whining generation. <laughs> I don't know. Or the... Uh, yeah, the self-centered... The ungrateful. There's a bunch of negative names for them. Yeah, well, I don't care. It really has no effect on me in the, in the Philippines, you know. You, you see a lot of that here with the, you know, the Gen Zers, the younger ones. Oh, yeah. You know, the entitle, entitlement, you know, the entitlement and, and the uh, arrogantness. I think if you listen to other vloggers, that's the, one of the major complaints is these younger ones, man, have no respect. No respect for anybody. They're so wrapped up in the TikTok and, you know, doing, doing a TikTok dance and you know, they think they can sing. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's crazy. But I, I, didn't, I don't care, man, I don't care. 
I really don't care anymore. Like I said, man, I got more years behind me than in front of me. And the way my family history is, I'm surprised I made it this far. I'm being honest. I am so surprised I made it this far in life. And, and I think back now, man, I scare myself. I'm being honest. I scare myself when I think about some of the stupidest shit I, I did, you know? Even when I was in the military, some of the things I went through, and I was like, my God. You know, in other words, I was an outsider looking in at me, you know what I mean? And I'm like, damn, I made it through that, you know? Yeah. But you want to know something, man? All the boomers and then all the Gen Xs, man, we're not victims. We never claim to be a victim. We don't want to be victims. We're survivors. You know what I mean? We're survivors. We're not victims. We're survivors. That's the way I look at it. We're survivors. We made it through the shit. And now we're like... I mean, I had somebody one time tell me... when I retired at 55, okay? I just I was just got so tired of it. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. There was an incident that happened one time when I was in... Uh, when I was Portland, Oregon. With uh, Antifa. That'll be another story, but uh, I was like, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, you know? And I was already in a relationship with Miles, and I said, and I talked to him one time, I said, I think I'm gonna speed up the plans a little bit here, because I was gonna work until I was 65, you know? Or work until I couldn't work no more. And every once in a while, I'll fly back, you know, fly to the Philippines, spend some time with Miles, then go back to the States and work. But an incident happened when I was in Portland, Oregon with Antifa. No, I didn't get hurt or anything like that, but, and it was like, I'm done. I had it. I had enough. I mean, I'm, and you could take this anyway. There was a woman that was, I was in a truck, a big truck, was standing in front of me, of my truck, like she had an authority over me. And it took everything I had to keep from running her fat ass over. You know. And I told her, you, you even touch my truck, you're done. That's all I'm going to tell you. There was a woman that was right next to me trying to get up in my truck. And I said, you come up in my truck, I will do everything I can to defend myself and my truck. Do you understand me? And I said, and you tell your friend she touches my truck, she's done. So, like I said, I knew it was over. I was like, I'm done. I can't do this no more, man. <laughs> it was crazy. But I made it at the other side, right? Been around for 61 years. Yeah, I'm 60, but you count that one. I've been around for 61 years, well, 60, 61 years. How It depends on how you look at it. I've been shot at, you know? But I wasn't gonna be shot at in my own country. No. Well, I will let you go. And if you got this far, I really do appreciate it. And thank you for listening to me run my mouth. Peace out, have a great day.